Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Um, I was away last week. <laughs> so now I'm back and here we go. And because I was away and I didn't do any readings for you last week, there's going to be a part one video and a part two video. All right, so you can, you know, watch the whole thing at your convenience. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, so I'm going to, this is going to represent you. All right, second row will represent them. All right, so we're going to look at how you guys are viewing or seeing each other, how you feel about each other, what you're both thinking, and what action or passion is here, okay? So starting with you. All right, Four of Cups. All right, so you're seeing this person in a Four of Cups energy. So that means that this person might be, you know, look, focusing on why something can't work versus why something can. How are they seeing you? The emperor. All right, so Pisces, this person sees you as being very controlled, possibly, you know, controlling something about this connection, possibly controlling it, how it moves forward or how feelings are shared or, um, but they see you as very controlled. Maybe, you know, for, for some reason, something that just came to me was how this is exposed to the world, to the people in your lives. How are you feeling about each other? All right, for you, this is the lover's card. You're feeling that this could be, this person could be a soulmate. You're feeling extremely drawn and connected to this person. How are they feeling towards you? All right, so we have the three of wands. They feel like they're waiting for you. So it's almost as though, whether you realize it or not, you might have a little bit of the upper hand in this situation right now. And when I say upper hand, I just mean that, you know, you, you might be controlling how this, remember, controlling how this unfolds for some reason. But they're, they feel like they're waiting on you. All right, so what are you thinking when it comes to this person? All right, so we have four of wands. You're thinking that there is a solid foundation here. You're thinking that this has the potential for, you know, long-term commitment, life partner, possibly marriage, if that's something that you want. You're thinking, you know, really in terms of long-term with this person. How are they thinking when it comes to you? Knight of Pentacles. They're thinking that this is going to move very, very slowly. And, you know, and it feels like there are other people surrounding you that matter to 
that matter to at least one of you. Like somebody here cares a lot about how this connection will affect other people as well. I feel like that's probably you. All right, so passion or action that could be taken here. We have two of wands for you. And for this person, we have three of cups. Again, you know, it's funny because you, I mean, this is, this is the strongest energy for you, this lover's card. Okay, and, you know, it, it feels like you're thinking and feeling big things, but when it comes to actually doing something about this, you're very hesitant. Okay, two of wands, you pretty much know what direction you want to go in, but there's something that's holding you back a little bit, where you're, again, this person sees you as being very, very controlled. They feel like they're waiting on you. They feel like this is going, they're thinking this is going to move very slowly. And then three of cups, you know, I almost get the energy from this person that, you know, you might have said, you know what, let's just be friends. And you did that in order to control how quickly this moves. And that's why this person is feeling like this is going to move very slowly. Or, you know, you might have said, let's be friends for now. They might know your intentions here, but, you know, maybe the way you said it was, we can only be friends. All right, so let's, I want to get pull one Lenormand card for each of you as well. So one for you and one for this person. For you, look at this. We have the star card. You know, I feel like this person, you know, could be, you know, that, that wish fulfilled, that wish come true for you. You definitely have deep feelings for this person. This person, holy cow, got the ring. This person feels an intense bond with you, too. So why are you telling them that they can only be friends with you? All right, let's see. All right, so for you, I want to get some clarification on, really, this Two of Wands. And this Lover's card here. And for them, start there. All right, so why does this person see you as, you know, trying to control this coming together? We have two of wands. All right, so we ended over here for you with the two of wands. There's some choice that you know that you have to make in order for this to come together. And this person knows it. Lovers, clarified by eight of cups. All right, so there could be somebody that you're walking away from in order to move towards this person. And this person knows that this is a difficult choice for you. And that's why, you know, the other people that are surrounding this is important, I feel, to you. Let's clarify this Two of Wands even deeper here. And we have... The Queen of Swords. So, the reason that, you know, I feel like this choice, 
it's not a hard choice for you to make for yourself, but because there are other people I feel like that would be affected by this decision. Um, Queen of Swords, you know, is somebody that you can't lie to, okay? And I feel like that's what you're struggling with. You know, like telling the truth about this, you know, to other people, I feel like is what is bothering you. It's like you have to get through the Queen of Swords in order to make this decision towards your, your heart's desire, towards the deep bond that's between you. Three of Cups for this person clarified by Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel like when you told this person that we can only be friends to kind of hold them back, it ignited this passion in them, you know, even stronger. And, you know, and this is not, this is, this does not feel like fly by night at all. You're making this person wait though. This person definitely feels a deep, a deep bond with you. You know, I want to, I'm going to clarify that four of wands because that tells me that you feel there's a strong foundation here. There's a strong foundation. It could be a foundation in friendship. And taking it to the next level or moving towards the unknown is what what the challenge is here because it's going to affect other people is what I'm feeling. It's going to affect other people and that's worrying you in some way. All right. All right, I'm going to pull a chakra card for each one of you to see where you're both at. One for you and one for this person. All right, so they are coming from the solar plexus chakra. Okay, so this is a place of I can. So this person is, you know, coming from a place of I can make this happen. But it's, you know, it's going to be kind of a, a quick decision on their part. Let's see where you're at. All right, so we have the throat chakra for you. All right, so this one is coming from a place of I communicate. So I feel like that's what you're feeling like needs to happen right now. But I feel like you're not doing that. I feel like you are stalling. You're stalling for reasons that are outside of this connection. I'm feeling that very strongly in this reading. You're stalling for some reason, but you know that you need to communicate. I feel like right here around this decision, two of wands, two of wands showed up twice in this reading. This person sees you as needing to make a decision or, you know, speak it, speak your decision, but you've got to get through the queen of swords is what I'm feeling here. Okay. All right, so 
So that's part one of your reading. So the next video will be part two. So, you know, you can break it up if it's helpful for you. Um, but we're going to get into the mutual energy between the two of you. All right. And I'm going to use um, the chakra tarot to do that. And we're going to pull a chakra oracle and romance angels cards. Okay. So I will see you over at part two. All right. Thanks so much, Pisces. Bye-bye.